hello everyone you welcome back to my video and as well you welcome to my channel so today we're going to be telling you why the one hour and the 15 minutes are the best time frames to trade with why the one hour and the 15 minutes are the best time frames to trade with you know what today's topic today's teaching is going to be very very um funny right because many of you most of you are going to doubt it for sure i'm going to show you guys some good proofs i'm going to tell you why you should choose to be an intraday trader instead of what a long-term trader or oh, intraday traders intraday traders are those who leave their market their, their trades to run or their, their their trade within a day you know in particular they don't let their trades run to the next day so those are intraday traders they open and close trade within a particular day but the long-term traders are those that leave their trade for weeks months years you understand me and the case may be so today's video i will show you why i will tell you reasons why you should choose to be an intraday trader rather than what being an or investor or what a long-term trader okay but before i get started guys if today's the very first time you're watching my video do well to like this video hit the subscribe button just below this video so that you get more of my teachings as they come up next time because you can see you have so many things to talk about all right but when it, when it comes to divergence i believe i'm almost rounding, rounding up okay on what divergence is and everything that concerns divergence how to tackle trade go about trade using divergence all right i believe to have been covering that very soon and after covering divergence as a topic and covering some of the things some of the videos most of you we want me to be uh, recording for you guys i want to dive in you know show you guys how to make money out of what binary option and you wouldn't want to miss that right good so what you gotta do for yourself right now and as a new as a new person who is watching my video right now is to hit that subscribe button and also if you missed all these ones we've talked on right get a link from the description below this video i'll watch the previous videos or oh, go straight to my channel watch any video you see there and also like them comment below the videos tell me areas you want me to talk on and i promise you guys i'm going to do it because i want the best for you okay so right now in this today's video i'm going to tell you why the one hour and the 15 minute time frame are the best time frames to trade with and why you should choose to be an intraday trader rather than what be it an investor but for those of you guys who are already subscribers this is the continuation for me stop so and uh, sit back and relax watch out and enjoy what i have for you guys today so let's dive into the market so guys why i said the one hour and the 15 minutes time frames are the best time frame to trade with is because it's simple what happens in this one hour and the 15 minutes time frames in both of these time frames can change totally what can what's going on in the four hours time frame and what's going on from the world daily time frame so i know you're going to doubt this yeah i know but i'm going to show you guys exactly what i mean the 15 minutes time frame the time frame that gives you complete structure of what's going on any day log into your chart to trade right you get most uh, you get structures easily from the 15 minutes time frame and these structures help you market structures like the double top double bottom emma all right some of what we call it the m and w patterns and the rest all right the triangles and the rest it gives you market structure easily from the 15 for the intraday traders you make one hour and the 15 minutes as your best time frame because this is what the market makers use this is one of the most powerful time frames the market makers make use of whatever manipulations they are having comes mostly from the one hour time frame and the 15 minute time frame and you're gonna see them easily and the manipulations that occur from the one hour and the 15 minute time frame can trigger totally what's going on in what in the four hours time frame and the daily time frame that's what i say 90 percent traders do what lose and the only way you can escape this result is by you doing what getting a system that can help you trade the way these guys trade they can help you trade alongside them because you cannot beat them and as the as the saying goes if you can't beat them you do what you join them and you can't how do you join them when you don't know what they are doing so you get a system that can do what help you trade the way they are trading one of the systems i know is the divergence right one another system i know is what the market maker strategy these are the two systems i know that can help you figure out what the market makers are actually doing all right divergence helps you figure out the manipulations all right Divergent helps you figure out what the manipulation and you can see something like this Market is trading downward strongly downward with all these powerful candles here But what's happening on this later? This later is doing or okay, giving you up or move All right now this was later is giving you telling you that here guys This is what is supposed to happen in the market The market is supposed to be going up from this point from this recent where well, this previous point here this point market is supposed to be going up because it's designed to follow prices up and down But why are this guy going down and the was is going up? That is the faking you're talking about 
and then if you followed if you, if you had a chat like this and because you saw this power of candle because see where the market was guys all right see where the market was at this point here yeah. and you can see the market has been going well down we got a, 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 a high a lower high all right low and lower lows and the rest so the market is going down really well you can see so see what was going on market was trading down and if you saw this signal you will want to enter this market as a sell from this point so they manipulated so many people out here and what happened at the end of the day they went back up and you tell me where you would have kept your stop like that that did not hit all those trading groups you follow on instagram or on telegram that will tell you keep your stop loss 100 pips 200 pips above where did you keep your stop loss that you were not stopped guys from this point how many pips did the market trade 240 something pips all right so which signal will which group will you follow that will tell you to sell this trade and actually keep a stop loss anywhere that you that, that, that you were not probably stopped you were stopped but guys diversion help you to do what to figure out what these guys are doing but as a diversion trader i did not take this way we did not take this way rather waiting for the private time to do what take this way as a buy with a smaller stop loss guys we do this way as a buy at this level if you've not watched my video on how to take this trade as a buy how to do this perfectly you watch my previous video how to trade divergence you know when and where we should have bought this trade so we bought this trade at this level all right we bought this at this level and even we went price went up and came back for a retest it still went back up and we made so much money out of this market yo now you're losing what a market of 249 pips out of the market you are making the same profit you're losing in the market so they faked you guys out and you took it and um, maybe you kept your stop loss 100 pips 200 pips 50 pips and the rest you lost all this money why we traded against you and made the money we traded with the banks you traded against the banks so we made money against you all right so but now i'm not going to talk more on how to trade with the market makers because i have it here already my topic how to trade with the market makers there is it i'll talk on it very soon but for now let's talk on why the one hour and the 15 minutes time frame are the best time frames to trade with guys the best type to trade with now i'm going to show you quickly what happens let's mark this zone and let's let me show you something this zone this is the one hour time frame isn't it this is let's go down to the 15 minutes time frame and let's see if we have yeah the 15 minutes time frame also give us a word perfect structure here it gave us a structure here price come here to bounce bounce and then the same thing was later was we here was later was also here when the price was doing all this reaction from the uh, word one hour so later was also down here so they were wrote telling us the same thing to go the same direction but now let's go to the four hours time frame where was the oscillator okay cool in this particular example oscillator was also here at this point so now let's get another example guys oscillator was also at, at this point so the market did what traded up alongside what the other guy now let's go back let's go back let's go back let's go back i had a signal one day like that I got a signal is certain one certain time okay here yeah. we got a signal here guys all huh? right got a signal here now let's mark this zone from just little and let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame all right have you seen this zone or slater was also here and also telling us what a divergence just as a one hour was also doing doing what telling us so it was giving us what another divergence here but now let's go up to the one hour four hours time frame now still the four hour time frame was also giving us our also what doing what our supporting what our supporting our direction that's why you've seen all this free move you have seen because what the uh, four hours the higher time frame is doing was supporting our, our direction that's why you've seen all these free moves now let me show you something before before the before this move occurred what was the market doing before this powerful and governing candle what was the market doing the market was doing what was selling isn't it the market was selling before that powerful and coffee candle but from the from the one hour what was happening the market already gave us what a signal completed the signal for us to buy so if you follow this one hour that hey this guy is selling this guy is selling he gave us even a, a pattern the candle has a pattern itself all right but see what happened price went all the way or why because this guy had already done what completed itself and they set up to do or to buy well now let's go to the daily time frame guys there's this is the point i'm going to i want to go to now have you seen these were the point of slater was in the four hours one hour and they do what and they were 15 minutes time frame 
But where was Oslito here on the daily time frame? Here. Oslito had already completed his signal to do what to sell. See, price Oslito had broken this level. Price was falling. So Oslito was also at this level. Ordinarily, we are supposed to sell this market because what? Price from the daily time frame was what? Falling. It was selling. Have you seen that? It touch, it touch, it touch, it touch, it touch here again. So price was selling, not touch again, rejecting this level. So everyone, guys, as it uh, as a long time trader, will do what we sell this trade. Even if you watching this video as a long time trader, we we have sold this trade from this level. Cause we had a touch here, touch here, a touch here, another touch here. We had another touch here. How many touch? One, two, three, four, and five. So and and here we had another six touch with a powerful word engulfing what candle that was going what the downside. So this was a sell trade, a sell trade for the for the uh, long term traders. This was a sell trade, right? Now, Oscillator was also doing what, what had also what, crossed each other and left the zone to sell. So this perfect, this was a perfect trade to do what to sell from the higher time frame. But because of what happened in the one hour time frame, eh, because what the reaction from the one hour time frame that was telling us to buy, the contradiction from the one hour time frame that was telling us to buy, and the four hours and the fifteen minutes that were all telling us to buy, it made this daily time frame that Oscillator was here that had that Oscillator was already selling to do what change totally, right? That made the oscillator because the four hours, one hour, and the fifteen minutes, could create a similar time frame by telling us to do what to buy. It triggered what happened on the daily time frame to do what change totally. What would have happened here? See this zone, guys. We are supposed to sell this market here. Every trader will sell this market. Like who is a long term trader who trade the daily time frame and the rest? All right. People who leave that trade for weeks, months, and the rest. Who took the analysis from daily time frame they would have sold this trade from this point guys nobody would have bought this trade because we had one touch two three four and five and we had another six touch here with a, a powerful and copying candle that is already was trading down here and now thought the oscillator war had already crossed its, each other here and left this zone already for you oscillator had left this zone all right at the point oscillator left this zone this of our boss zone i was trading down so everybody did what took this trade at the sell but why did this market this why did this market from this point in the daily time frame change this thing but because it was because of what a one hour showed you 15 minutes showed you and probably what the four hours you understand me now because the four hours one hour and the 15 minutes were telling you to to buy that thing alone triggered what totally what happened where in the daily time frame and it still happened here now Irrespective of the fact that Oscillator gave us what a sell signal and also price is bouncing on the trend line. Those of you trading bound, I, I said it in my previous video, price is bouncing on trend line alone, on a level alone, it's not enough reason for you to do what sell or buy. Yeah, we had one, two, three, four, five, all right, and the sixth one also bounced, giving us a sell signal by giving us what a powerful and copying candle, bearish and copy candle. But this is not enough reason for you to do what to sell this trade. Go for more confirmations. These are the analysis we make before entering the market. Join my group of divergence. You get more analysis from there before you take a trade. All right. So it's not enough reason to you do or sell this trade. Now even then, Oscillator gave you what a sell signal from here. But because you did not know how to uh, combine multiple time frames and you didn't know the, 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 the particular time frame to take analysis from. You did what you were stopped because you took this one at the sell at the end of the day what happened see what happened to this oscillator now, uh, to this particular price now on the daily time frame it changed totally now oscillator from this point because of what happened on the one hour time frame the 15 minute time frame it triggered a total change in what was happening where in the daily time frame have you seen why the one hour and the 15 time frames are the best time frame to trade with all right have you seen have you seen guys let me show you something now we got a signal here to buy all right and normally we step downward for early entries from the 15 minutes time frame somewhere here where are we going where we are going where are we going okay now somewhere here so we took our trade the moment price closed above this previous level which was where here at this point we took our trade from that point and we had our stop loss where here from just below the swing low candle that's how we trade in our group now we went down to one hour time frame still the same thing we had it there because of our early entry we got it there now ordinarily everybody was doing what <laughs> everybody was selling everybody was selling from the daily time frame 
from this point selling and selling and selling but see what we did and even then they still sold and fake so many people are and they came back and close and form what a dodgy they were indeed were formed what a dodgy now see what we have see what happened while everybody was selling we were actually there from the smaller time frame trying to change the direction of what's going on here by doing what buying hitting our buy buttons so we were buying and we were buying and we were buying because you know this thing you're seeing the reaction from the four one around the 15 minutes time frame and also the four hours time frame the case may be will trigger what's going on from the daily time frame and because we are buying and we are buying and we are buying see what happened the market went back up because we were what at the right direction we knew what was going on at that point we knew what was going on all right we knew what was going on so while, while so many people were buying were selling as a result of what price is bouncing on this trend line and the rest we were actually doing what buying because we've taken the information from the smaller time frame whatever movement you see from a higher time frame is a result of what what has gone on from the smaller time frames so guys you see that you see why this guys this thing is very powerful even though so so many so many things happen here guys so many of you saw so many things there some people saw triangle price is bouncing here so they're expecting the break out here all right but what happened even when price bounced there they went down a little and did what went back up so anything you saw here was cancelled from the daily time frame some of you that saw triangle some of you that saw support uh price is bouncing on the resistance level i don't know what you saw but what i know is you were stopped because even when you saw a triangle you're expecting price to come here and break they sold down and probably you followed them down but what happened they went back up all right those of you that saw prices bouncing here and on the resistance level how many times and you want to sell you sold and you were stopped but you forgot that the smaller time frame will tell you what's going to happen from the daily time frame another reason why this one around the 15 time frame are the most important time frame you should trade with is because the market makers uses this time frame to manipulate the market all right the easiest time frame they do are to manipulate the market now see the manipulation that went on here all that this market was supposed to sell right but because we already knew and we caught the manipulate we already knew that they were manipulating the, the chart from the smaller time frame and though and so we waited for the best time to follow them and trade we waited for them from the one hour time frame to follow them and trade and i see the perfect time we entered this trade we followed them all the way up and what happened that ch it changed what was going on from where the daily time frame huh and also as a trader fine i understand the fact that most of you as a long-term traders don't have enough time for trading because of your career and the rest your family and the rest but guys that's a good reason though that's a good reason but i see no reason why you should be indulging or engaging yourself in a business you don't have time for if your complaint is you don't have time that's why you're being a long-term trader then it's not enough reason because i've seen a reason why you sh should engage yourself with something or in a business you don't have time for what, what do you expect you're not going to succeed in doing such a business even in the physical business you're doing out there the stores the shops you're selling and the boutiques and the rest if you don't have time for it you will not see result good result out of it it's that simple so also it's forex trading if you don't have time for your trading guys you will not have you will not make money out of it trillions of trillions of dollars are all right trillions of dollars are going into and coming out of the market every day the time you have for this thing determine how much you're gonna how much quarter of that money you're gonna bring out every day for yourself and for your family so guess what if you just have 10 percent of your time for forex then you're just gonna get a little money 10 percent of your trading size account size every month but if you have so much time for this thing that's why i kept recording what 90 70 percent traders as loser because 90 something percent traders even those who claim to be intraday traders don't have time for trading you should have a specific hour a specific time you should be in, you should be trading for example you say okay every morning i trade a london session throughout but i don't get a signal in the london session i don't have a trade that day 
that's it now you set for yourself so every morning you wake up you focus to get doing what getting the sick now to trade from the learner session once the learner session is done trading you're done trading learner session and they're moving on to the u.s session you're done trading already you get out of your chat and you can go about doing other things all right each session lasts approximately four hours between the london and the u.s session you can you have four to five hours so if you don't have time for trading don't expect so much money from financial industry all right you must have a specific time for your trading and this specific time is something nothing else should take it's a time no other activity should take once you're in front of a system be devoted to it be committed to your chart all right be committed to your chart guys be committed to your chart your you need time just as you needed time to become a good doctor to become a good lawyer to become a good engineer you also need time to become what a good trader don't go into the market today and expect the money and to expect to be a millionaire the next day it doesn't work you need so much hard work so much what hard work and imagine you're giving just five or ten percent of your time every day out of 12 hours a day you're giving forex what just one hour or two hours it doesn't work that way now is that bad for some people that they give for it just a few minutes they just go into their chat blue blue screw down and the rest at the end of the day they close their chat without learning one single thing anything new it doesn't work that way study keep yourself calm and study this thing give yourself time forget the speculations going on the internet it's, it's, it's impossible to make money with fire for us scam no it is not a scam even the God Almighty said it, with anything is possible to him that believe. If you believe it's possible, it, you're going to be possible to succeed with the Forex market. Alright? If you believe that you're going to succeed with this industry, you're going to succeed out of it. It's only when you don't believe that you're going to succeed, then you're prone to failure. Alright? So why should you be an intraday trader instead of what a long-term trader? It's simple. So my... From the analysis I've made and the calculations I've made and everything, my point of view and the rest, I've come to discover that intraday traders who have who are fully devoted devoted to trading make more money than what long-term traders. How you ask me? Let's assume as what you watching this video, you're a long-term trader, and I am a short-term trader. This is a train we both joining the train we are both what trading with a train you as a long-term trader and me as a uh, as an intraday trader we are both trading with what a train now it's impossible for you to enter the market at this point as an intraday trader at this point uh, as an intraday trader as if at this point guys uh, okay It's important for, for you to enter the market at this point and the market goes what just move exactly or spike all the way up to where your target is it's impossible all right is it possible that the market does this it can do it for shorter time frames but for longer time frame guys 95 percent times is the only time you see this in the market this happening in the market for longer bigger time frame like from the four hours or from the daily time frame is just two percent if not one if not prices will do what go up and come down go up and come down go up and come down now let's assume you as a long-term trader you began the trend from this point you bought your trade here all right you bought your trade there and you left it and took your profit where at this point this was a this is where you bought your trade and you're leaving it to come and hit you or your take profit at this point fine so far so good the price has been going up in your favor and i did what enter this trade i am a divergent trader and probably have, i must have gotten what a divergent signal from this point huh now so what i did i took my trade from this point right and i, I left the trade where at this point all right i took from here i left here and i got another signal to do what to sell remember you're still leaving your own open for price to come and hit your target here but i'm doing what getting all these little signals from this uptrend because they, they find that the price is going up and down up and down so also is the price going to give us what 
other more opportunities to buy and sell still on top of this trend all right so now we got i got a signal to buy here i bought and i took profit away at this level after seeing another signal or i took profit at this level now getting another signal again to sell i sold and i took profit away on this trend line i still bought another signal to buy i bought to this point i sold to this point i bought to this point sold just like that and until i got to the point where the market did what came here and did because the trend will not last forever at the point the trend will fail and it will break so now we bought to it to this point guys i bought to this point and did what made all the money but i've always been taking profit with on the trend line for the sell trade because i'm trading again the trend so i don't want to expect so much money but at the point i took i took this and i left here and the price it was broke to this point now if you are calculating how much i have made here how many people i have made here is far more higher than how much people you've made price traveling from this point to this point for you who is a long-term trader now how many pips is this for you who is a long-term trader you made how many pips this is the, the, the 1729 pips huh 1729 pips this don't worry yourself this is the that one of the strongest instruments to trade it's more like the volatility 75 and the rest so it carries so much weight so this is what 1700 and something pips for you trading what long term you allow the single trade to run all the way up here but i have been i've been taking my trade the moment i saw new signals on this channel on this trend so i took how many pips from this market i entered here took profit at this level 390 pips all right 390 pips let me get a calculator guys we'll check this together so i will tell you why you should choose to be an intraday trader rather than a long-term trader okay so let me get a calculator and let's do this math together okay now we first got what we took our, our trade here our signal here we got what at this level we took our profit at this previous level 320 pips 320 pips for that first one plus what we got another one we now got a signal here up here to do what to sell we sold all the way down here to the trend line 246 pips all right 246 pips guys two plus two four six now equal to what 566 now 566 how many ups and that did we have here we had one two three four all right four ups and four down that is what eight signals times what eight signals we had cost to what 4528 pips now how many pips did you get guys you to the single trade as a long time trader you made what 1000 plus people for me who took all the signals here made what 4528 pips now how many signals came up here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right now as a case maybe i may not be lucky enough to make all this trade as a profit as as winning trade all right as the variance may have it the variance is a strategy that gives you 80 to 90 uh, percent win rate now let's assume i made 80 or 70 or seven trade i made seven trade out of what this 10. i made seven trade what out of what this 10. now see what see the calculation here we have this guys now let's make five six six times three five sorry five six six times three it's equals to what 1000 plus people now let's minus 1000 from 4520 something 28 or so it's equals to what we made extra 2830 pips still making money more than you who traded and allowed your trade single trade to run all the way up here chance we have more chances that i may make all this trade but fine let's say i i lost three out of what 10 of this of this ticket signal that came up here i lost three out of 10 so i still made what 2888 8, pips from you who made what 1700 something pips All right so you see that Israeli traders who are devoted to their child who are committed to their business make more money than long-term traders Alright, made more money than what long-term traders. So this is the reason why you should choose what I made this I made this analysis clearer in my book how to manage your trade. Alright. So this is the reason why intraday traders will make more money than what 
long term traders and who knows as a long term trader you may you, you may still be expecting more the market to still continue upward move isn't it but at the end of the day what happened the price broke okay now and fine the price broke and you did what expected the retail because after a breakout you expect the retail now you took your profit here after this retail you took a profit here so you're not a, you're not likely to even make how many pips those pips you were counting you see that you've made lastly you made 1384 pips from this market compared to me who took who made what 1000 2830 pips all right so guys i would advise you choose to be an intraday trader but fine it's not a crime to be a long term trader i repeat it is not a crime don't misquote me you can have your schedules and the rest you can be any kind of trader you want to be fine we are not all the same that most of us find it easy to hold trade for months weeks and the rest but most people don't find it funny to hold trade even over the night so get your area of strength and work with it all right you wake up early morning you already have a specific time for your trading it's a kind of discipline for you have time for this business if not you will not succeed nobody succeed without being devoted or committed to what he's doing so if you're not committed or devoted to this trading of a thing you're not gonna make money at the feet all right so guys this is why you should choose to be a short-term trader over being a what long-term trader because of what the analysis we've made so far one is going to make more money compared to what long-term traders so once you're making your analysis even though it's from the daily time frame make sure 15 minutes and the one hour time frame are in line with what you're doing huh the safest thing to do when you're trading with, with the daily time frame make sure the one hour and the 15 minutes time frame are if you're selling for example make sure the one hour and the 15 minutes time frame are also asking you to sell if you're doing something contrary to what the daily time frame is you're using to analyze it's very dangerous because it's capable of changing what you're seeing just as the case is here everybody will sell this market oscillator or everything recorded sell but because the one hour telling us something contrary at this point see what happened the price went all the way back up all right so even you're analyzing with the daily time frame the first time frame make sure the one hour and the 15 minutes are also telling you to do the same thing if not wait for them to tell you to do the same thing don't get scared out price will not run away if you're analyzing from the daily time frame for example like it's telling you to sell this market at this point and this us this one hour is telling you to buy hold on this daily will not freely sell until this one hour is has finished buying only then should you sell this market all right from the daily time frame, only then should you sell this market the moment one hour the 15 minutes are contrary to the direction you are intending to go it is dangerous because they are capable of changing completely what you're seeing for that higher time frame so please the next time you're analy analyzing your chart from any time frame higher than one hour and 15 minutes make sure you step down to one hour and 15 minutes to confirm easier if they are also what, pointing your direction and you only know this by having an oscillator a setup like this just like this all right now you have prices telling you to sell here oscillator telling you to sell you go down to the one hour time frame what is the oscillator also telling you to do all right what is oscillator also telling you to do is it also telling you to sell if it's telling you to buy then wait let it buy that signal is generating then on, on on its way going down then you cannot sell the signal you're seeing from the daily time frame all right so guys this is how to go about it and why i say the one hour and the 15 minute time frame is are the best time frames to trade with all right because i can completely change what you're seeing from the higher time frame so if you love this video guys like it below subscribe don't forget is the most important don't forget because i have so many things to talk about all right i'll be posting videos every week so for you not to miss out on all these videos do it to subscribe so that the next time i release more videos all right you're gonna be have it at the disposal so also if you feel you've not understood what i've said so far and you think you can understand better by reading then get my book all right i wrote two books on how to manage trade and also the simplicity of divergence get these books also join my trading group on telegram it's called power of divergence it's gonna be in this video the description below in this video 
join this group, get my book, read it for better understanding because I took so much time to write that book. All right, you may not understand what I'm saying in this video because I'm hurrying and I may be hurrying because of time. But from the book, I took time to break it down and explain better. So get a book and also read it for better understanding. Download this video, make it an offline video where you can always go back to re uh, re watch it. All right, most time you watch a video, you don't have you don't get the light after out of, out of that video, but on watching it over and over again, you will get the light of it. That, is, that was how I learned, that was how I taught myself how to trade. Nobody told me how to trade, I taught myself how to trade. It was exactly what I did. All right, so guys, once again, subscribe to this video, and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you all.